everything that was announced you were anticipating? Any surprises? Yeah, no surprises today. I think the most interesting story coming out of today is the Apple Watch. You've really never heard this from Apple before. When it was time to talk about the watch, they said, well, this will be available later this fall. Well, what does later this fall mean? Well, that means it's not going to be this month. It's not going to be this uh, next month. And it probably won't even be November. Mm. These new Apple Watches with that larger display are delayed because of serious production and development problems they had late in the game. Hopefully, they're able to get them out before end of year. I don't think they would have said fall if they weren't able to. But this is an interesting and almost unprecedented delay, uh, similar to what we saw with the original Apple Watch, but unprecedented since then. Huh, as November even technically full, I'd, I'd debate it. Judy, what do you make of the lineup and indeed some of the supply chain issues that are there or not? It was interesting, we had a, an analyst on in earlier hours saying actually the fact that the price points haven't moved that much sort of is showing they're managing to contain the supply chain issues over at Apple. What do you make of it? Well, I think they could either be containing supply chain issues or, you know, perhaps, you know, cutting back on their profit to deliver at price points that consumers want. Um, but certainly, I think Apple delivered a solid lineup. At the end of the day, right, most of us are still at home. Uh, most of us are looking to do more things at home. Uh, you know, kids are still at home learning in some cases. We're getting health care at home. We're working at home. We're being entertained at home. We're working out at home. And all of this generates more demand, not only for the devices, but for the, uh, you know, the array of services that they're offering. Interesting. I mean, Mark, to that end, did it... In, were you impressed in any way by the lineup? I mean, for you, it's all old news. You managed to break it all ahead of time. But is this enough of innovation being shown by Apple? I saw so many fun memes about basically it, was, it all looked exactly the same. Does it matter much that we're only seeing slight improvements on camera and the like for the iPhone, for example? I mean, this is nothing new, right? Every time they come out with a redesigned iPhone, the follow-up device always has a very small update or a very similar design. So this is not surprising. Is it good enough? Yes, but I think Apple's at risk in a couple of years falling behind in the smartphone game if they don't catch up. I think foldables is going to be an extraordinarily strong phone category. Samsung is really pushing those hard. Apple is going to need to come out with a competitor on the foldable side. The iPad mini is an incredible upgrade. If you're an iPad mini fan, this is unbelievable. 5G, bigger screen, smaller bezels, touch ID uh, in, in the edges of the device. I think that's awesome. I personally, if I wasn't going to get the 13 Pro Max, I would get this iPad mini. I think it's unbelievable. I see we're showing it on the screen right now. However, that's not going to move the needle for Apple's revenues. What's going to move the needle is people continuing to upgrade to the new iPhones. And these new carrier deals, these new financing plans make it easier than ever. I think the one challenge Apple has is consumer education mm -hmm. about how it's very possible to get a new iPhone every year, putting that $1,000 in Apple's bank account without taking that much money or any money out of your personal bank account. I'll give you an example. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max right now. I'm going to be able to get the 13 Pro Max and order it this Friday without paying anything additional because of how good the trade-in deals are at this point. Ah, there you are, the education for the masses, Judy. What's interesting is also how much we're seeing the impact of Apple. Yes, perhaps it's not completely revelatory this time, but the standard that they set and the impact it has on competitors, we saw, for example, the share price dip a little bit for the likes of Peloton today. How much of a focus is the health area? How much of, of a bite out of market share can Apple continue to take? And is it enough? Well, I think there's a couple of things. So I agree with everything that Mark said. And I believe that Apple has a very strong and a very loyal customer base. And the more they create services, the more they sell, the more locked into their ecosystem that I, that I am. Right? I don't believe we're going to see dedicated or loyal iPhone owners switch over to a Samsung or switch over to get a different device just because it folds, because I'm already too locked into the system with like my watch and my tablet and all the services that I provide. The other thing is, is I think, you know, it's very easy to focus on the hardware and the camera and how big the display is because that's what consumers understand and that's what sells. It's hard to explain all the subtleties and all the things that are under the service, all the things that machine learning and AI do to make us take phenomenal photos, never misspell a word, um, surface our favorite memories from five years ago or the things that are hard to do. Uh, but I do agree with you, right? I think even when we talk about the camera, you know, the focus on is what's going to sell, what's going to sell for the holiday season, which is great photos. But what we're really also talking about is the computer vision that these cameras enable. So think about things like, you know, healthcare, augmented reality, more virtual reality, um, and just a lot more use cases as we go forward, because this isn't just going to be about cameras and taking awesome photos. This is going to be about how this device 
enables me to do so much more over time in so many different facets of my life. Yeah. Julie, at the moment, also, this is, at the moment, the story about buying into Apple is so much more than this one product unveil. It's about the news that we've had in the latest week or so, the fact that they have had a security issue with its messaging system, the fact that they have had that epic ruling that they say is in their favor but seems to be upending somewhat the app economy for them. Are you positive, as positive as you were, about Apple and, it, and its overall business model as it stands? So, yeah, for, well, for two reasons. I think, one, Every company has security, not every company, most companies have had security breaches. It's not a question of if, and it's a question of mm. when. And I think what consumers care about is how that company handles the breach. And we know that Apple is one of the most trusted technology brands on the West Coast. So that's one thing. And I think the thing too is, I think despite the epic ruling, I think Apple does have reasons to be optimistic about the future within the App Store, because we can never underestimate consumers' desire for convenience and privacy and security and the things that Apple offers. If we think about how little friction there is for me to go into the app store and make a purchase by double clicking the side of my phone and showing my face, it's easy compared to clicking on a link, going to a website, creating yet a new account with some independent developer that I don't know and I may not trust. You know, what's different for them certainly is like the Netflixes, the large media companies of the world, like the New York Times, the Wall Street Journals. It's fair for them to say, you know, I've had these customers for a long time. It's an and that they're on the iOS platform. It's not the only place I reach them. And it's going to be easier for them. I mean, certainly it's always been, and it will continue to be easy for them to get customers to sign up outside of the Apple ecosystem and away from the 30% toll. Um, but I think independent developers are still going to depend on that system, even if they have other options. 